Mike, check the house. Bree's, I mean, Bree's here with Gouda. <laughs> Why I gotta be Gouda and you gotta be Bree? Mm, you cheddar. Right. I look pale. I still tanned over the weekend. And you didn't tell me, so now we show up to do a video and I'm pale. You did it last week. It doesn't last that long. All right, let's go. Hey guys! Yay, we did it. We came through. We said we were gonna do a get ready with me and here we are. I'm not going to tell you what happened before this video turned on. Things might have been thrown on the ground. I might have toddlered out. It's <laughs> fine. It's, it's Monday. Monday. So if you saw our most recent video, we did a drugstore haul of new makeup to us. Frick! So, oh man, you can't do that. It's gonna mess up our focus. It's gonna mess up you our don't microphone. Move. You I'm don't not move. moving, Gouda. I'm here. My name is not Gouda. Okay, today we're doing a get ready with me chit chat style of those new products, full face drugstore makeup. Oh my God, Karen, we cannot have a 10 minute intro. Let's do this. So if you are excited about a full face drugstore makeup, get ready with me. Give this video a thumbs up. If there are more things you wanna see, drop a comment, let us know. And we're just gonna get right into it. We are, I think that's everything. Oh, real quick, before we start a little ad, um, this video is sponsored by Madison and Mallory, who is our clothing store. Make sure you go to the link below, check out all of our new arrivals. We're rocking some of them, super cute. We'll link them below. Yeah. There will also be a link for our face Facebook group. We have lots of fun stuff happening. Okay, I hate my hair today, so I'm probably not gonna take it back down once it's up. Just gonna throw that out there. The top of my hair is like, it's Monday. I don't wanna be here. Y'all, I would just like so. to say, I have been enjoying my hair. I have been putting a pink toning. It's like a color depositing conditioner, conditioning shampoo. It's the Cara Color Conditioner in rose gold. I'll link it down below if you're interested. But I have found that purpley shampoo is not really the tone that I like with my complexion. For that reason, I have been using a rose gold one. And Bucky really likes her. I have to drink my coffee so fast. She doesn't have to. No, mine's, mine's in this nice Yeti fade. cup, which I will also link below. This I put my work coffee in every I need to bring mine back day. up here. I have a white one. When I tell you I want to do day, 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 day in the life, week in the life of us, I want people to really get a feel for what our day to day looks like. Yeah. I really want to do that. Yeah, we should do that. We should do that. What if tomorrow we each film in Individually, our mornings, and then like we film once we get here together, because that'll be fun, because they can see. But I don't like, want just one day. I want a whole week, a so week. it's not gonna. It needs to not be it like. Just be snippets. Yes, but we'll we'll plan that out later. I think okay, life could be fun too. But I personally like to start on concealer. I start on eyebrows, because if I can't get my eyebrows on, I can't see what I'm doing. So you can, but honestly, we don't have a product for eyebrows. Right. Here. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and not really say much, because. Well, I mean, this is NYX, so it is drugstore. Yeah. I do use drugstore products for my eyebrows, and that is NYX, and I stock up on these right now. I am using uh, brunette, because I'm a brunette now. I used to use taupe, so if you're blonde and you need a good color for blonde, I really liked the taupe color, but brunette is good for me. I didn't change it at first, and it looked okay in person, but I, in pictures and stuff, I felt very like ashy in my eyebrows. It just didn't. It's look bad. Well, so. I know that drawing in your eyebrows and like filling them in in nice full brows are like, the hot-ish right now, but I really sometimes like when I take my makeup off and I've just got like my little BB brows. Don't some forget. Some of us are not blessed with brows. Yeah, and some of us lived through the 2000s. 2000s. And they never work. I'm actually gonna R start. R.I.P. I, actually, no, I'm gonna actually send this, uh, I'm gonna put this photo up for you guys to see it. I, in 10th grade, had a little bit of a glow up, or so I thought it was a glow up, right? Really, in actuality. Oh man. Like, it's I, my yearbook was, photo. It's my yearbook photo, guys. I chopped my hair off and I pulled Left my eyebrows out and put on a bunch of also fun fact eyeliner. I've never let anybody wax. Actually, Same. no one has touched my brows except the guy. But he was just cleaning them up just right. ever and so slightly. Right, he was just baby tweezing just yeah. a little bit to make Kind of like I need to do to mine right now. More sisters than they were. They were like distant cousins at that point. I'm Jesus. starting with one of our new products. This is the Wet n Wild. One of our new products since like we're talking about our makeup brand. One of I'm bringing the this new close products that she's using when it's not a new product. This is the Wet n Wild Lip Treatment. Gives me vibes of like the Laneige. But also, there's also a lip sleeping mask, but like, we're not about to go to sleep. This isn't a grapefruit. Is it dry? No, it was making like a squitchy <laughs> noise. <laughs> Pretty much every day when I'm getting ready, I like to put some type of lip balm on because A, it blocks my lips from getting foundation on them a little mm -hmm. bit and that yucky cast happening. <laughs> what? <laughs> I went down with the lid on. 
Yes, I just okay. snorted. You know, guys, I had a little bit of feeling of like, I don't want to film this morning because I definitely know that throughout the years, the types of videos we've decided to do are slightly dependent on the performance of other videos we've done. So you look at the stuff you've done and you're like, okay, well, I don't think people liked that. So maybe we need to do something different. Right, but we're also those people that aren't willing to just do like anything and everything for the views. It we, has to line it, up with us enjoying doing it, but yes. also you guys enjoying watching it. We try not to sell our souls <clears throat> to the content devil of yeah. like anything and everything just to get the, the clicks. Cause I, I yeah. that and like, we are pretty private people. I'm not willing to put it all out there. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Shake it for the man. Not putting it out there for the content devils, no. <laughs> anyway, so I was a little bit, it's just like TikTok. Have you seen some of this stuff on TikTok? Like don't get it twisted. I've like danced, I've done some things, but it like. It makes me uncomfortable but to like, see it. No, I came across one and I was like, please God tell me she's 18. No, <laughs> or I know. older than that because of what she was I doing. I got a little bit of a cringy uncomfortableness with NBA like bringing in. It was just crazy. The, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just such Whatever. an interesting app and people are v comfortable on it. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say, but. I feel like I need to do some brows because if I don't, we're just gonna be on. Opposite. Yeah. Have you ever done brows before you did? Not really, and it's not my favorite, but like, I'll do it. So I'm using the, this is CoverGirl, not new, but drugstore. CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Blonde. And when I tell you guys, I stock up on these. Same. And I get them from Target Next. because they, actually I'll, I'll frequently buy them online because the Target online price is better than the mm. in-store. Right I was real excited to be here. Also guys, I know that sometimes they will do in lane price match changing and stuff, but it's not consistent. Sometimes they won't do it for me. Uh, I was buying a Christmas present for Bucky. There was a video game that was way on sale at Walmart. So I showed them the price and they're like, we can't do that in the lane. You have to go to customer service. And I was like, and the guy that was standing there was some type of like team leader or manager or whatever. And he's like, you know what? It's okay, I can look it up and I'll do it. He wasn't the cashier person there. He just was over there doing something with the girl and like just kind of stepped in and helped. But it straight says that they do it. I need to take care of my mustache. Same. It's just, you gotta prioritize the things you have time for and the things that just have to fall to the wayside. And upper lip hair sometimes just has to take a back seat. You know what? Just do your thing. It's gonna be fine. And my eyebrows make me so mad, y'all. Like. Like from a distance, they are all right, but like, don't get up in my eyebrow grill. I just, it's like my eyeliner. It just keeps getting bigger and crazier. I'm just gonna stop. Ugh. Sometimes I look back on videos and I'm like, who was doing my eyebrows back then? Cause they're really good. Hey, can I get you to come back and do them again? <laughs> yeah, like, can can I take me from like the past? Have you and... ever thought about watching your old videos and watching how you do stuff and seeing if you can like recreate it? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you should try it. We, don't, we, we rarely did eyebrows on camera. One issue is now I've got dark brown eyebrows. Okay, I'm probably gonna come back and hit them once I get the foundation on. I need something to clear. That is gross. I actually wanna try the sleeping mask on my lips just to know what it feels like. So we had a sleeping mask and a moisturizer thing, but sometimes sleeping masks can still feel good. Like Yeah, I feel like that one's probably gonna be thicker. This is just kind of balmy. This feels good. I would wear this because it makes my lips look like... Glossy. Uh -huh. and there's no reason why you can't wear that. Okay, you wanna do foundation? I do not like the lavender on my mouth. Get off your mouth. It tastes like it should not be there and I do not like it. Okay, we've got the Dream Radiant Liquid from Maybelline in two shades. Also have oh, we also Cover have Girl in the photo and I shoot. don't. We're gonna have to choose one to do in another Get Ready With Me. Okay, do you wanna do the photo focus? Cause you knew about this and I knew about this one. That's fine and we okay. can do the Cover Girl one um, in another video okay, okay. together. I'm okay. gonna do more videos anyway, so it's fine. If, really? This isn't our last video? No, I think we should make this a thing. We should definitely just keep making YouTube videos. Yeah, I think we yeah, should make that'd it Yeah, that would be thing. cool, yeah. like make okay. it a um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, um, <gasps> Dewy. It has a pump. I didn't know that. Is this okay, this is the Dream Radiant Liquid. What does this do? It has a doe foot, I believe. <laughs> what was that face? Oh no, that was terrible. Y'all are really commenting on our video today and I'm here for it. And I wonder if it's because it's President's Day and you guys are off of Spatula. School. Oh, spatula, weird. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the 30 because like I said, I did use self tanner over the weekend. So I'm a little bit more tan than I normally would be. I'm also really feeling what's going on right here. This is just like a vibe and I'm here for it. It's got my nice scalp lace bralette action which are like dupes for the free people bralettes and we love them if you're not part of our exclusive Facebook group. Steph's gonna use the elf, the new elf sponge. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender because like, I'm just gonna use it. Was it? 
Yeah. Did I put too much on it? Okay, this is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. It says use wet or dry. I don't know what crazy out there is using this dry, but you need to not. Yeah, that, that sounds so bad that on your just skin. It's really cringy. And like, it's gonna skip everywhere. I was watching somebody put on makeup and they were using all concealer. And I was like, does that not feel wrong? I don't I'm know. Thinking this has a flat end. It's gonna be very beige. That's pinky. Pinky beige. We should switch. I'm gonna put a little classic ivory on here because I think I'm more of a yellow tone warm tone skin. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. And then if I'm too pale, I'll just bronzer up. That's this is, better. This might be orange, but you know what? It's better, in my opinion, for it to be a little bit too dark than it to be like ghostly white. Mm -hmm. Cause it's so hard to come back from that. I don't think we got any powder, so I might have to use my own powder. I don't set. I have to, but it's fine. But like whenever I'm doing my foundation, my left hand's just hanging out over here. Like what, what is it doing? <laughs> what is it doing? Look at mine. I know, it's just like. I need to get in there. <laughs> It's waiting for backup. It's on call. It's like, I'm here if you need me. <laughs> yeah. I just want to let you know I'm here if you need anything. So my <laughs> first impression, I really like the finish of this, but it doesn't, it's not like it's taking a lot of work to get it around my face. It looks like a pretty good match. Like I don't even feel like I need to bring it down to my neck. Y'all might be seeing something totally different, but like. <laughs> They're like, nah, Dre. Nah, you're so wrong. <laughs> you're that so is the wrong. worst color you've ever picked. I just would like to address something while we have you here. <laughs> we get a comment. This has been a prevalent comment throughout the years and it's, oh my God, Tracy is so rude or oh my God, Stephanie is so rude. She keeps interrupting and talking over her. I just want to say that people are like, why do they do that? Like there's this underlying like secret, whatever. And I responded to somebody in kind of just like a sarcastic way because if you haven't met me. She's sarcastic as. Yes. So it's funny, Maddie was telling me last week, she was like, you know, you're really sarcastic. And I was like, what? <laughs> she said no. that to you? Yeah, she did. I was giving her sass. I have to use a little bit because I switched the sides and I think I watered it down. I just need to add a little okay. bit. Okay, do you ever, you're putting your foundation on and it's looking good, but you feel like you haven't put enough and you're like, don't be shy, put some more. But no, like you feel like you haven't done enough, yeah. but it looks good. So like why wreck it? No, I can tell when I need more. But like, I just want more. I just want more. I'm just gonna. I can see holes in my foundation. That's how I know I wanna do more. But I don't, this is almost too big in some areas and I find myself switching to the pointy side, which yeah. probably, that's probably why it's there. Yeah. But it gives me more of the beauty blender feel. But I'll tell you the consistency of the sponge. You can, it can be too big. Is, yeah. I wish it was smaller, but the consistency of the sponge is good. Yeah. If they would just, and there might be a smaller one actually, cause I think there's some for like concealer and stuff. But if it were smaller, I don't have a very big face. Oh, baby face. So I don't really need a big sponge, although. Okay, I'm very excited about this foundation and I have been using the Physician's Formula formula like Healthy Skin or something like that. I mean, this feels liking, dewy. But. Does that feel dewy? Mm -hmm. This Radiant. feels dewy also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, sort of. I fear it's a little too dewy, like it doesn't want to stay in one spot, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I wish I had done my concealer first because like that's that's the way I do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I fully addressed it, but like we're sisters, we talk over each other. It is just a part of being a sister. I know exactly what she's thinking. And, and she knows what I'm thinking. Sometimes we finish, it's not even just talking over each other. Sometimes we finish each other's sentences. I mean sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. If there's no like, are there chances that we have videos where we were not feeling the moment and we didn't really wanna be filming? Thousand percent, okay, that. Have we been fighting and then turned on the camera and been like, hey guys, yes. yes. But also after that video's over, do we forget about what we were fighting about and we just move on? Yes. Yeah. It's almost therapy. Right, Stephanie like, and I sure. made a decision, honestly, on this day, eight years ago, to quit our full-time jobs to pursue this. And we lived across the street from each other for eight years. We choose to be around each other. We choose to work, we open our clothing boutique together. We work side by side at desks in our office. We could together. have our own office. We could have put the people in another room and I could have had this office and she could have had that office. And so it's just like, we choose to be around each other. You know, it's not gonna be sunshine and rainbows every single day, but we're gonna get through it and it's gonna be fine, but just. But it's just like marriage. Marriage is not, marriage is not a perfect union. No. You fight, you have disagreements. Yeah, so I just think that maybe the people who are asking that question don't understand because they don't have siblings or they just have a different relationship. But yeah. Stephanie and I, and even our other sister Heather, like we are, you just we're talk friends. over each other. 
it just happens and you're not offended and you're not like heartbroken oh my god i can't believe you talked over me it's fine honestly sometimes right. i don't even realize it when we go back and forth yeah unless she tells me that i'm annoying her by doing it yeah i don't really even know that i'm doing it yeah because it's so natural this is the covergirl simply ageless instant fix advanced concealer and i think this was in packaging that talked about it i think it has hyaluronic acid and stuff so i kind of wish that <laughs> kind of wish that i had put this on directly on my skin because of the hyaluronic acid and stuff like that more like a treatment before and honestly i feel like my foundation did a pretty good job covering and I'm not one to go like super bright with it. How does my color match look? It actually ended up looking pretty good. Yeah. I'm not mad at I it. I feel like as you were saying, you do trend a little bit dark on your foundation, but that looks like a good match. This is like, like you can hardly see it on my neck. And unfortunately, I think that the mix of 20 and 30 were good for me because I think just 20 alone would have been too light. 30 was too pink beige. Mm -hmm. So I needed the warmth from the 20. And sometimes you just gotta mix it up. You know, I think I am kind of like a borderline neutral skin tone mm -hmm. with like some pink and yellow. Mm -hmm. Because people are like, oh, well, if you're a warm tone, you're gonna like yellow, I mean gold. And if you're a cool tone, you're gonna like silver. But I like both jewelry. I'm scared. I don't ever put it on top. Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> That's too light. Aww. That's too light. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're happy about that? Yes. That does not look light. It does. No. Not like how I go light. That looks yellowy, though. It does look yellowy. I'm scared. What's the color? Like, it wasn't coming out, and then it was just like, boom. Did you watch the Brow Mondo, the people bleaching their hair? Uh, that, yes. Was that the one where the girl had the really short hair, she went yes. blonde, then she, she got the right roots, back. and then she put the red and brown over yes. it? He was like, no, it looked so much better. I'm obsessed with Brow Mondo right now. Also, um, there's not any, okay. This is not super full coverage concealer. It's kind of light. I feel yeah. like a little bit thin. Yeah. And it's not that brightening, but. I think, like I said, I would have liked to put it under my foundation as a treatment. I'm um, still stuck on part shape tape. Okay, I'm going back and forth currently in my rotation between two. I'm either using the Pickless Concealer or the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. I like both of these interchangeably. I also feel like it depends on which foundation I'm using to how much I like it. I just sat there a second ago and put on this MAC Paint Pot and didn't even say anything, but we don't have any. Um... Oh, hey, you know what? Let me see what's, what's that like. Do you know what? What if you give me that one and don't pay me the full, do you know what I'm saying? Like let you finish mine out? Yes, because I don't want to go buy another one, but I don't want to commit to a whole one of those. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't care. Like you could only give me like, like $10 for that one. I don't care. And get a brand new one. Is that fine? It's fine. Let me clean this off. Y'all, this is bad. We don't buy our MAC Paint Pots very often, which is why no. I stand by this product so much. I can use one of these, gosh, I don't, two probably years? too long. Probably way too long. I, they probably have like a year shelf life. They Actually, they don't have one. Usually it has the little jar with a number on it. This does not have that. Y'all, it doesn't expire. Forever. But I will tell you, ooh, you know what? It has bismuth oxychloride in it. <gasps> but it doesn't hurt your eyes. Yeah, so don't, I don't put it anywhere else. Yeah, no. See, so yeah, I just cleaned it up and it's like brand new. Oh, I, I don't care. I know, but I just, I just really don't want to go buy a soft ochre one. You can just give me like $10 for this and I'll be fine. Because okay. this will last me, me know you real quick. like forever. Here, I just don't want to go back to Ulta right now and get one and like, you guys, let me show you. Please tell me it's in here. So somebody on I just gave you a hundred dollars. <laughs> no, eleven hundred dollars. Because I wanted to give you eleven. Because okay. eleven, gorgeous. Yeah. Someone on Instagram said, "But Tracy, I thought you used soft ochre." And I thought, "Oh my god, I used to use painterly way back in the day. Then I switched to soft ochre because I have more of a yellow tone." Steph does painterly. C can you please look at this? Have Jeez. you ever? No. It is. I mean, wiped clean every last drop. And so over the weekend, I went and got a new one and it's been so long, I freaking bought Painterly instead of Soft Ochre. She forgot. I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. One of you guys recognize, I don't even know what I'm buying. Y'all, the most important thing about Venmo when you're Venmoing somebody is to make sure you the get decimal? the right emojis. No. Oh uh, yeah. And I'm really, really sad because I'm not seeing what I, what I Can need. Can I also say that in doing YouTube for so long, I think we should have more- Is your phone on? Grace towards, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I love that sound. I think we should have more grace towards content creators because we are just people. We make mistakes, life happens, things happen, you forget stuff. It's not always like a calculated thing. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you mean. I know I there are people that on. can make bank on affiliate links. We are not those people. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter powder just in case you wondered, this is my favorite powder, but um, I didn't have any from the drugstore currently. And there are so. people, they will have affiliate links for their camera, their lights, their tripod. Wait, we don't do that, do we? No, <laughs> I sh we should. I don't even don't. think about that. I know. 
over there. Because, like, it's funny because I remember I used to look at people's videos and I'd be like, I really like the way her videos look. What I camera? Should, <laughs> what camera I is she using? Yeah, and I'll go down there and, like, look at the links and stuff. But I don't even think about the fact that they make money off of them. Do you know what I remember back in the day? I am dumb. Messaging people and being like... Oh, we 100% messaged Ingrid and asked her what camera lens she used. And she told us. Yeah, she was sweet. Because she's nice. No, no. I mean, even back before that, oh. when we were asking people, I'd be like, please don't say MacBook. Please don't say MacBook. Please don't say MacBook. And they'd be like, oh, I'm just filming on my MacBook. And I'm like, I can't get a MacBook. I'm telling you, that was like the beginning. Okay, guys, we are using the Maybelline Nudes of New York. Let me show you what has been in rotation for mm -hmm, a very long time. And that is my gingerbread Oh, palette. I use the extra spicy right now. Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. Look at it. I'm in pan on four shadows, Purple? You guys. Use that purple color. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> she didn't want to say it so bad. <laughs> this good. Oh, no. But look at look how many shadows good. I have pan on. I bought Steph and Heather the extra spicy, right? For Christmas? No, uh, I, bought I bought it for you. And I bought it for you Heather. You bought it for Heather. <laughs> yeah. And Too Faced randomly sent it to us. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? I got a notification what? that Too Faced package is being delivered to my house today. Ooh. So I'm excited to see what that is. <laughs> We're still getting PR. <laughs> Out top. top. I mean, it's nothing like some people. Like, we can't like lay down in front of a giant wall of PR. Right? Are you kidding me? Here's the thing. No, no tea, no shade. No, no but nothing. holy. Sh I don't know what I would do all with all that. I, I honestly. I'm overwhelmed when I get I, a birch box I AFC sample. Would cry if I, I got that much PR. Not positively because. And this is my uh, Tartlet and Bloom palette. Can we look at the I state of this? I can't even let go our OG of our OG makeup that's in my room at my house. Like I'm talking like the Alice in Wonderland palettes and all that and stuff. And let me say, I also saw someone mention in a video that like, and this is just a, it was just a thing. It was like looking at influencers and how much they've used their makeup down and like making an assumption or judgment or whatever about it. I don't know about it because like, people are different. Some people like with their clothing. I know people personally that are like, I'm wearing a different pair of shoes every day. I'm wearing a different top every day. And I am one of those people where I am like- I find one thing that I like and I wear the sh and crap out of it. Why do I keep wanting to cuss? With like claws of death. And I'm like, I am never taking you off my body ever. Same with makeup. So like I find something I like and I stick with it. And my I My jeans that I'm change. currently wearing are like eight years old. I have my newer jeans that I like. You guys. And then I have my other When ones. I tell you, how many years have I been using this? Are you this? doing contour right now? No. Oh. I'm, I'm talking about how many years have I been using this? I don't this? know. How has it lasted that long? Because I only use it on my nose. Oh, uh, that's right. And what it, do you contour your cheeks with? Butter bronzer? Butter bronzer. Mm, that's where I got had those cheeks smell by the beach. Yeah. The beach. I, I've okay. gone through a lot of those. But, so that to say, we are all different in how we use our products and some people really like to change it up. So like they're not gonna be hitting pan on stuff. Really you know what inspired I mean? by so, like, this don't palette. make judgments on people's makeup by that. I'm really and inspired I apologize by this. for the link this video. Trace cannot shut okay. up. Okay, do I wanna use protector or explorer in my crease? This is not really a tutorial, so if you can't follow along with the colors we're using, we're just gonna talk about how much we like the palette yeah. or dislike the palette, whichever. So being the um, type A, not wanting to change, keep it all controlled person that I am, I'm like, what can I find that is, so Dreamer? Dreamer's going on the lid. Dreamer! I'm gonna put Dreamer! fighter. I'm gonna put fighter on the lid. You guys, I blame fun. the coffee. Okay, but I'm talking about for the crease. I'm not talking about the lid right now. Oh, I start on the lid. I'm so weird. You start on the lid? When did yeah. you start doing that? I always do the crease for it. Okay, I'm using this like, this Explorer shade, which is like a transition I'm one. I'm taking my Sigma E55 brush. That is actually from probably 2010. Cause my I don't buy brush. brushes. Sorry about that guys, don't know where it turned off. I'm using Soloist, which is like an ivory-ish cream color on my brow bone. You do lid and brow bone first. I know, okay. What happened to I you? I don't know. I wish this was a smidge lighter. It's a little not bright enough for my liking. It's not brightening up anything. Okay, then I'm gonna take this brush that I don't know where it's from, but it's just a fluffy blendy brush. And I'm gonna take Creator. I like the names of these. As like a soft brown. There's a lot of kick A lot kick of kick up. back, yeah. Kick up? Kick up. Kickback? Kick kickback is what you get when you do like something and they give you money. It's like, this is your kickback. Kick I think up. it's kick up. I, I, I don't know. I, I wish I could show you guys this, but like it, there's powder all over it. Yeah, I think that's because it's not a very firmly packed. Yeah. But that can lead to a lot of fallout. Yeah. That color is darker than I thought it would be. I'm not too picky when it comes to kick up and fall out and stuff because ultimately I'll just go back and clean it up. Yeah. It's a good blendable color. I'm still gonna tell you guys. I it's got that. This doesn't have terrible fallout. I frequently right end now. up with a lot of shimmery glitteriness when On I my use cheeks. my gingerbread palette anyway. Yeah. It's like whatever, it's fine. No, oh, I really don't want to change my brush. <laughs> 
I'm so lazy. Um, I really should have washed mine before I did this. Same, that's why I can't would use I my typical it? one because would I it wash would. It in real life, though? No. 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 Okay, I want to take. There's not a lot of in between colors, so I'm just. I kind of built up Explorer to be kind of darker, which I usually do. I'm going to take Voyager, which is like a dark brown, and just like go in the crease, crease. I want to do self starter. Will you show them self starter? It's the far right. Oh, this like brown. It's like a. It's like a true Chocolate. medium. I'm just going to put chocolate. that under my lash line. I don't know the order with which I do stuff anymore. It's just like, ooh, I want to put this, this there. Let's do it. This one. I don't like this brush. This is a Sigma pencil E33, but it's, it's not working on that shadow because I feel like that shadow is not soft enough or something. Or it's too, I don't freaking know. I just need a, like a, I need this one. This is no name, but I love this one. You love it? I do. It's like a little flat eyeliner -y brush. I really like it. I, I wish like there was more matte shades in this palette. Five, six, seven. Eight, there's eight. Yeah, but usually I do better if there's like three or four sparkles and the rest are like. Half of them are matte. I know. I just don't, I only use shimmer for my lid. Like if I had more options of matte, that'd be better. Like I wish there was like a brighter one that I, like a more fun, bright, warm color that I could have done on my, kind of my crease and brought it halfway over and then did the darker one in the like outer third. I don't know. They blend out eventually, <laughs> but they do give me a little bit of trouble. Like they're kind of dry. Like they want to be kind of patchy dry. Yeah. For sure. I don't sure. like what's happening under my eyes. I feel like it's very creasy. Okay, I'm gonna take a shader brush and I'm gonna take Fighter, which is kind of like a coppery rose gold color. Who are you gonna put that on? Um, on like the outer half of my lid. Hmm. So I think I use a lip, I think this is a lip pencil. I think this is a lip pencil, but I use it under my eyes. I'm gonna take Voyager that I did in my outer corner. Actually, I'm gonna take Explorer first. I'm gonna see. Explorer and Globetrotter I'm to gonna get a get, warmth. I'm gonna get um, Chelsea to like Chelsea circle to the like. shadows we're using. Cause I think that'll be helpful. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay, I really like this fighter color. It's pretty, it's like a penny. <laughs> <laughs> my face. I haven't done makeup on camera in forever. You forgot you're making silly faces. Oh no, it's bad. I'm holding on to the desk over here like for dear life. I don't know what's going on. I'm clutching it, guys. <laughs> I can't. I gotta get my eye, my eyes straightened out like there. Eh. Like I'll just be doing my makeup and then midway through I'm like, gosh, I want some color on my cheeks. And then I'll just go over to blush. And then I'm like, ooh, but you need eyeliner. Let's go do eyeliner. But ooh, you need mascara. Let's do mascara. Like I just. I want to blow this so bad. Sometimes I'll be doing bad. my makeup and I'll be like, ooh, I want my hair to be dry. Sorry, I had to blow stop it. Stop doing my makeup and blow dry my hair and then go back to doing my makeup. All right, I'm gonna put fighter on my lid and I use my finger when I do it. Why? It's just more pigmented when I put it on my lid. But if your hand has oils on it, it's gonna mess it up. Oh, I have to. I don't have to. Okay, I'm gonna use Explorer. It's like a little kid thing. It's like, it's my turn to hold it. You've already held it for 10 minutes. Well, and now it's my turn. I already said I was full toddlering out, so like it's fine. <laughs> you know what? All in all, health's pretty okay. Oh yeah, no, it's not bad. I'm gonna be really critical just because I think that like, if I'm gonna go buy something, I wanna know. I would rather somebody be like, it's good, but this, and give me a couple things, then just be like, this is the most amazing thing ever, because like, I need to know. My eye shadow got a little bit muddled feeling. The sparkly shade is not as pigmented as some of my favorite ones. I just want it to be deeper. Which one's lighter between those two? Pink, that one, originator. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. Yeah. She basic. You call me basic. I just said she basic. I can't. What do you think? It's very, um. But do your palettes have like oil nope. marks on them? Nope. I can't, it's not doing anything. Do you wanna see it? Mm hmm That palette looks like you barely used it. I'm gonna use, I'm judging you. And I haven't even touched those. Those have gotten mushed. I what use is, that for my inner corner. That? What is that? I think it's my brush scraped it on accident when I was doing stuff. Your palettes are why are they weird? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna use Voyager. I'm stealing this for Which is like corner. this dirt, dirt, dark burgundy. I need a light color for my um highlight. It's so funny, when I'm doing my makeup, I have my right here, and when you do it, it's like, well, well, of course it's gonna be in the middle. That's not what I'm doing, it's in my left hand. I know. If I was sitting where you are, it would be in the I middle. I know, that's why it's good for me to hold it though, cause yeah, like we can both. It doesn't work. Oh, this makes it look peachy. The like highlight, like light matte color is almost making it look darker, not lighter. I didn't like that color. It was darker than it should have been. Are you saying it's too dark? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't feel like I have a bright enough color. There's not a good color in here to highlight. No, there's not. Which okay. is surprising well, there's... because it looks like there's multiple ones that would be light enough. Yeah. That's fine. There's one downfall. Overall, if you're looking for a drugstore palette with like lots of warm shades, I like it. And maybe it's a good companion palette. Like maybe you have another palette that it could like mesh well with. I think it said that it's like supposed to be for lots of skin tones. Yeah, for a wide range of skin tones. Mm -hmm. So I would just argue like 
it's good, but I would put it one even lighter for us fair skinned. Yeah, very some... fair skinned. I mean, I feel like my eyes look similar to well, what, what I typically say is, do. Especially because today I'm going darker foundation and darker stuff than I normally would because I've got tan on. Okay, I'm just gonna take a brush that doesn't really have anything on it. I just kind of just do some like. That's what I do. Like I take like another brush and I'm just like I'm just gonna soft mess focus with you, you up here. Ah oh, crap! What? I forgot to try the putty. Guess we'll have to do another video. Yes, we will. I'm gonna like put the things to the side for another video so yeah. I know like everything that we want to do. Oh, lip. Hey, which eyeliner are you gonna use? I don't know. We have two. So we have, and they're both pins. Hey, yeah. There's Maybelline. Hyper Easy and the Wet n Wild. Okay, this is the Maybelline Hyper Easy Flex Brush Tip Eyeliner Look. Pitch ah. Black. And this one's waterproof. This one's 16 hour. I'm gonna assume this is this is waterproof also. Liquid eyeliner, breakup proof. Easy line, smooth glide, no skipping. Are you liner before, like do you do your liner and your mascara before you do your blush and stuff? Mm -hmm. We're so Which different. I shouldn't do. We're so different. Should I wait, should we yeah. wait? Okay. Well, we don't have contour. We have highlight and blush. So I'm gonna pop in some, our butter bronzer. I think I like to do blush, then contour, then highlight. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll do contour, blush, highlight. We've got Pinch Me Pink and Nudist Society. Mm. I think I'm gonna go with pink. Got a makeup line, y'all. I like this new packaging. So this is, Pinch me pink. And I'm gonna use this brush, which again, don't know where it's from. Cheeks be snatched. Is that what they say? I feel like a nice medium pink. It feels like my brush is dragging across my face, which is interesting. Could mean that your foundation's a little sticky. Yeah. Sticky icky. That's what I'm thinking. I feel like it's gliding. I think I put too much bronzer on my forehead sometimes. You gotta put on a mask. What is that from? TikTok. It's usually when- more TikTok. It's Guys, if you're not following us on TikTok, we'll have it linked down below. We haven't been uploading regularly, but follow us. Okay, next I do bronzer. And now I'm just going to butter bronzer too. Guys, if it's not painfully obvious, this is a good bronzer. And we go for just the straight bronzer shade. Not light bronzer, not dark bronzer, not whatever, just, I'm gonna just bronzer. I see it all in your hairline. Oh, this? So, me? Oh, bronzer. Yeah. I don't understand though. Okay, for blush, I guess I'll use this peachy one. New to society. I'm gonna a bit of shimmer. So just. You have a bit of shimmer. It's foundation. My powder products are clinging. Clinging. I don't like that. Nobody likes a clingy Carol. Can't. Oh, there it is. Okay. Really pretty peachy color. Also, you're seeing this on a Tuesday, so we're gonna be going live tonight in our Madison and Mallory exclusives group. If you like watching us live, if you like talking with us, interacting with us, if you like shopping, it's kind of like an HSN vibe but more or fun or QVC, whatever. I say HSN because I feel like I see more clothing on HSN yeah. and more product on QVC. Yeah, I feel that. HSN gives me more of the like ladies up there with the outfits and like. All right, we have a new highlight. Oh, see, we didn't use Cheek Heat. See, I'm, I'm pulling oh. I'm pulling the products that like Jeez. I know we didn't use because there's okay. gonna be multiple so products. So we're gonna do another get ready for yeah. the drugstore. We might even add in if there's anything new. And also yeah. I just want to remind, actually I talked about this on the weekend on our Instagram stories when I did a little mini Ulta haul. If you're not following us on Instagram. I mentioned that I wasn't using Diva Curl anymore. I know people are still being educated on the like whatever. I'm not saying one way or another what is or isn't going on with it. All I am basically saying is personally, I'm putting a pause on it. But if you want me to talk more about it, slash just go watch Diva Curl videos. I feel like there's a little bit of like hysteria, conspiracy, vibes you know what i'm saying it's like you don't it's hard to know sensational yeah it's hard to know like is it really causing everyone's or is it like people are having similar issues and so they're i don't know i'm just using i this. can't speak to anything because i don't have experience with it yes yeah, same this contour on my nose because um, i know if i was having scalp whatever problems and i had been using diva curl i'd think the same thing yeah that was, that was way heavy on the nose tracy what are you doing not. i just know there's a lot of people having issues and it is enough to scare me from away it. from using it. And I also don't feel 100% confident with the way it's being addressed publicly yeah. by the brand. Yeah, I'm like, if they had nothing to hide, they would like show it a little more and not just be like, it's fine, it's safe. Yeah, I, like I said, there's a lot of speculation yeah. and allegations and it's just scary. I'm not trying to be losing my hair, so I'm just not going to use anything that potentially is causing problems for people because like, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life of losing my hair. It's terrible. Yeah. Especially, especially because as a curly girl, 
And if you are, if any of you guys are curly girls, curly guys, whatever, because guys have been affected by this too. When you start your curly hair journey, a lot of people do a big chop. It is something that usually you're coming off of years of heat styling, something that like you are trying to grow out that damage and have this new journey of hair health and to then have something go wrong with your products that causes hair loss, hair damage, scalp damage. It's just devastating, especially when you've gone years trying to like be in a rebuild phase, so sorry. This is the highlight. It's Wet n Wild After Sex Glow, and it's blush lighter, so I think you can use this color kind of as a blush topper. I wouldn't use it probably as blush. I'm not sure, though. And then the other side's kind of a highlight. I'm just gonna try the highlight, because I already have blush on. Love my little Lexi brush. I used this one, this Precision Foundation one. I think I've used both. Flat. Woo, woohoo, woohoo. Oh my gosh, it's a little stripey. She glowing. Uh -huh. She's showing. She's singing. Is that a thing? No. I'm just that awesome. It's a lot. Rudolph the red nose glow deer. I'm putting it all over my face. It is a lot. Did I put too much on? No. Did I? No, you look beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I like this. This, right. it shows up. Yeah. I feel like Wet n Wild knows how to highlight. Yeah, that's a good one. Sometimes I have to do this because my forehead gets wrinkly because I'm getting old. Yeah. Um, And it just seeps into my Here we are. So. Okay, Botox, this is, yeah. This is eyeliner time. This is really itchy. Okay, I'm going to not picking it. You guys, like, how dirty <sighs> that mirror Make up, is. My nose itch. You can see the outlines of the shadows. So dirty. <laughs> All right. I'm using the Wet n Wild waterproof breakup liner. Tracy's using the Maybelline. Yeah. The yeah. Maybelline. Are they both brush tips? <laughs> yeah. So you Maybelline pulled it open. Hyper easy brush tip. It says brush well, tip let liner. Let me see it. Let me see it. Yep. Cheers. Okay. They're really. I typically go for a brown black, so I'm scared for this, but like, this is where we are. Oh my. Don't say that. It's just really dark, and the liner stick is really skinny and good. I feel like this foundation is accentuating the hairs on my face. I think I am not excited about this foundation right now. I'm definitely not excited about what's going on under my eyes. It's not so bad. I just don't feel like it's super full coverage. I like it. It looks good on me. Looks good on me? Yeah. But you know how like you can tell when something's covering better than like somebody else yeah. maybe? This eyeliner's real thin and good and easy to use. You're not good? Well, I touched my eye and it didn't do anything, so. There we are. Yeah, I just don't like black liquid eyeliner on me. This is so like black, it almost looks blue. Yours kind of almost looks blue too. I messed up my right eye. Okay, now I gotta get a concealer brush and some foundation and fix it. Do you do right or left first? Right. You do right first, mm -hmm. but your left one's already done. How, did you go back and do something to it? Yes, yes. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sad. Cause then it's my position for doing my left eye, guys. This is and I have to go back and put foundation on both sides so it looks like I meant to do it. Mm -hmm. I've got to get some Botox. Look at the wrinkles. Oh my God, like when we lean forward, they're all in here. A girl is aging. Well, we all are. I know. Guys, I'm so excited to play World of Warcraft tonight. I need to play, but I just haven't. We played with Missy and Robbie last night. I leveled six levels just running through dungeons. What um what levels are they? Or did y'all make some to be with theirs? No, I had a level 20 mage on. What level are they at so that I can get on y'all's level? Oh shoot! Why did I go back? That's fine. That's fine. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. It's not my best eyeliner, but it's fine. I'm stopping. I'm not like so mad at it. Okay, mine got real wonky, but I'm not just not touching it anymore. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. It's fine. fine. As brush liners go, brush liner, it's cool. They're good. I want there to be a black, a brown black option, just because I think that it is like, whoa, you are wearing a lot of liner when you just like want to be it. like wearing a little bit of liner. It looks good. I didn't say it looks bad. I just want brown. Okay, we have. I have two mascaras, Maybelline, Lash, whatever, or Bambi. Before we I think so. Okay, which one do you want? I don't have a preference. Ow! The pokey. Hold on, let me like, move them so I can, okay. Now I don't know which one's which. Well, I wanted the other one. <laughs> It's fine, I mean, it's what I picked. <laughs> but I just know in my heart of hearts I wanted the other one. But what if that one's amazing? Maybe it will be. Okay, I'm Wait, why don't we do one eye of each? Let's just do that. Okay. On, our, on your falsies on the left. Bambi on the right. That way we can both say the on the left. Okay, this is Falsies Lash Lift. Dramatic Length Volume and Lift. She's got something going on down here. It does not look like all her lashes. It's probably not. Double curved brush. Wait, what is this? Oh, the wand is actually gold, so it smells good. Oh no. I like this one better. Percent. Pump it. 
just kidding. Don't pump your don't mascara. Don't pump it. Don't pump it. You're gonna make him so mad. But honestly, when you first get it, if it's in there, okay, right? It's in there. And like, I'm not pulling it in and out. Like, I'm not taking it out of the tube and putting. You're it not back getting in. a lot of air. So in like, there. really, am I putting more in there or just moving it around? I don't know. You're putting air in there though, for sure. Right for this one, left for that one. Left falsies. I need I need a closer up mirror. I can't. I don't know. Like, I can't. My lips look ashy and gray. I need something on them. My immediate. Feeling? This feels defining. Yeah, same. I ain't getting no volume up in here. Same. Like, Honest. what are we doing? What am I doing? That doesn't look that bad. That Yours doesn't look that bad, but you don't know what my lashes look like. It's getting all over my lid. Oh my God. Ah, it's on my hand. I missed the tube. It went straight like onto my hand. It's all over my hand now. Right. My lashes do not look like the girl in the picture. Of course they don't. They're false lashes. <sighs> But it says false lash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do get a feeling of like, as I'm pushing it up, that they're wanting to stay up. Like, look at them. Do, do you see that? Yeah, no? Yeah, I don't know. You just looked at my lashes and said, ugh. <laughs> okay, I do feel like as I'm pushing it them up It gets better. Though, no, that they're like sticking up. Like, almost like I've curled them. It's weird. Mine's getting better the more I add. I feel like we could go into Clump City though. No one likes Clump City. No. I'm about to stop on mine. Uh, Big Shot, better than this person. Personally. Mine's not so bad. I just got it all over my eyelid though. Love to see it. Looks really good. I'm really contemplating using Latisse again. I thought you were supposed to be waterproof. Spit proof you ain't. This feels better than the one I just used. 100%. Really? 100%. Like I can't even see I my lashes used. above my mascara. I mean my liner. You just pumped the crap out of that. No, I actually swirled it around. Oh. Cause it just looks like there's not a lot of product on the wand. You can just see the wand through it. I don't. Like it looks like it's not getting a lot of product, right? Oh, what did I do? Got it all over my lid. I'm talented. This one's better than that one. Hundred percent. That one kind of looks like it did better for me. This one? No, the Bambi. I'm just. It's like I cannot build volume. Look at the difference in mine. They don't look different. This one's better than this one. Yes, I do. Do you get a lifting vibe? Yes, but also like it's kind of wet, but it's not clumping bad. Definitely got more of a want to clump from the L'Oreal. Like now I want to go also, back and try to add it to this, but it's too dry. I also struggled with oh, getting no. volume on the Maybelline side. I don't flipping know. All right, now it's time for lips. Mm, okay, we have a lip gloss. Two lipsticks, some lip crayons, some lip cream, some lip gloss, lip heavy. some lips. So choose your poison. Okay. I kind of want to try one of these because this is like something that I really Someone like. Someone was asking us what the darker one was called. The darker, darker one in these? the Super Stay Crayon. Stay exceptional. Stay exceptional. I kind of just want to try these. I'm curious about this Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. Got that typical rose sweet. Maybe Lee doesn't typically have rose. L'Oreal does. No, it's not rose. Play Doh. -y? I don't know what this is actually. Perfumey, but like oh, no. sweet. It quit clicking. Oh, it's coming. But why is it not clicking anymore? Maybe because it doesn't need to click once it started. This is a lot darker than it you think. Oh, ew, no. Look, it's neon. <laughs> Uh-uh. Maybe once it stains, it's better. I love this lip product, guys. I'm gonna need lots of colors in this. This gives me so much control over my lip product. It looks really pretty. Like, it makes me think of, what was that brand that we liked? Oh, Buxom. It makes me think of Buxom in the shape and like application, but I think the Buxom had a shininess to it. Okay. I this like the way good. this feels, but I don't like the color. It takes me back to when we had all the neon lip stuff. No, it's not the right color. So Do you like... think it'll fade to like a pretty color? Since it's no, kind of stained. I'm gonna put something different on because I wanted it to be different. Let me use the Physician's Formula Rose Kiss All Day in First Kiss. So I already told you guys I liked the glossy version of this, and this I think I like too. I don't love the smell of it though. Rose, but also beer, and I don't know why. I do not like the smell of beer. Pretty. Mm hmm. Ooh. But I want to put a gloss ah, on it. Please tell, me, really please like tell me you saw the animations that Chelsea put. When we said ooh, she popped up the claw, guys. Oh, I didn't get that far. <laughs> guys, I struggled to get that video up. And then when we said ah, it was all real monsters. Oh my God, I love it. It was cute. Okay, all right, hold on. Okay, I don't know what these are, so we're going to save them. keeping it matte. But I want to put this Milani on, this ludicrous lip gloss mm -hmm. in Semi Charmed. I mean, I like it, but I'm glad we did our makeup today. <laughs> so cute. Oh, does she? There is something about when I do my makeup on video versus at home, mm -hmm. this eyeshadow, look at me. It's real pretty stuff. Your makeup looks good. Yeah. Better than normal? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do a quick I like, to like... Uh, convo about like... I think 
what I'm gonna say is things that I can't 100% on a first impression say. Foundation. Yeah, foundation's kind of hard, foundation and concealer, because that's something that also has to stand over time. What I will say, my initial feelings on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus is that I like the dewiness of it. It's not too dewy where it's sliding off my face. I do feel like it's kind of a medium coverage. So it says buildable coverage. So I feel like that is more of a light medium coverage because it's buildable. It's not gonna be full coverage. Most dewy foundations aren't. I do feel like my L'Oreal one is still one of my favorites, but I haven't given this one an overtime chance. So I'm gonna give it an overtime chance. I really like the pointiness of this doe foot really pretty. because I have control over my cupid's bow area. It doesn't get all gloopy. It doesn't and I feel like my lips look super plump and I'm here for it. I love this. So I think and I don't know if we'll do it for this video but definitely future videos I want to keep you guys updated on foundation and let you know how it goes and then or maybe same concealer. it could be cool. What if we like update it on stories, save those stories and put those stories like when the video goes up so they could go check Instagram. Do you know what I mean? Or we could have like a high highlight reel of the foundation stuff. I have a highlight. We'll do on like our Instagram a, of we'll like do like foundation. a makeup, like a makeup um, check in, highlight. check in, yeah, highlight that That's you guys fun. can like come back and check. Yeah, that foundation is something that like first impressions, unless it's terrible with your first impression, yeah, it's hard to really give like a hundred percent. I know that like before I completed my whole face, I was like, eh, I'm not totally sold on this, but. It looks good to me. Yeah. I'll be interested to know how my makeup lasts in this area because yeah. even my L'Oreal does not last in this area. Right. And that's on probably I'm loving foundation. like the highlight <laughs> blush combo is real pretty. I don't think. Yeah. I like this blush a lot. And I've been using higher end blush lately. This rivals some of my like tart. I love my tart, but sometimes my tart feel like it's, it's really dry. Yes. It's really dry. It's really well, hard I've been to get using, good color payoff. I've been using this just because I bought it. Or and like it's, it's very densely packed. I've been using this just because I bought it and spent money on it. And so yeah. I kind of mix these sometimes or I use yeah. one or the other. The middle one is just atrocious. It's not atrocious. It's just not wearable for me. So I've been using that, but I like the way this is working way better. Okay. Way better. Well, I love this Physicians Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color. I love the lip gloss, the Milani lip gloss. The mascaras didn't really do that much for me. I do yeah. use some mascaras. It's like over time, but mascaras are very a spidery and clumpy and mascaras a hard thing. Thing. I feel like there are so many other products at the drugstore that like I love multiple versions of them or multiples across brands. Mascara and foundation are just hard. I love the blush. Um, I love the, the highlight. highlight. So good. Blush so the good. Eyeshadow. eyeshadow is like I'm not gonna like jump and do cartwheels over it, but it's a it's a you decent know, drugstore really, eyeshadow. I really like my eyeshadow. Yeah. Well, I have been feeling in a funk lately with my makeup in general, and I'm here for this. I feel like that also is just like you get in your like routine of using the same stuff, and it just your makeup looks the same every day, so there's yeah, nothing. But fun about it but it's so cute it's it's a good eyeshadow it needs a lighter color in it yeah for our skin tone but that's probably not but i typically travel with two palettes anyway so yeah. i'll have that to like yeah. supplement but. i could live without the concealer yeah, it didn't the cover really, concealer it was a little thin do anything but maybe as a treatment before i put on everything else it could be like an under concealer the maybelline super stay ink crayon i want this in 50 colors because it has a slight it's kind of sticky not like shine, lipstick shine but kind of like it doesn't look totally dry and dead yeah well see how it like Wears. dries up on my lips because yeah. sometimes things will suck too much moisture out and I do feel like I can feel it on my lips in the sense of like I have a lip product on right. it's drying on my lips but it's comfortable so I like this I Milani like lip as too. much as our um the other wine. one mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah, cool. It's good. That's cool. Cool. Uh, sleeping lip mask that I put on earlier. I didn't, I didn't like the lavender and the sponge. It's a little bit big. Other than that, this is 100% beauty blender dupe quality. There you go. Yummy. That's exciting. Good drugstore. And it's e.l.f., right? Well, we yeah, are elf. going to link all the products that we mentioned oh, down the in the was description. Good too. The eyeliner, yeah. I mean, looking for it's a good. brush tip eyeliner that's not high end. Mm -hmm. I'm, go for it. I'm really excited about it. I got. I can't use the foam tips. Can't do it. Overall, so. this was a pretty win. Yeah. Drugstore makeup day. Leave us comments on other videos you'd like to see. Our tops are from our store madisonmallory.com. Come Lots hang out with one. us at the live tonight. We'll have a link to our group down in the description. And thanks for coming and watching our video and hanging out with us. And we'll see you in our next video, hopefully really soon. We're trying, our goal is to get back to like Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Yeah. That's my favorite schedule that we've had. Same. Love three days a week. If nothing else, there's gonna be one during the week and one on the weekend. Yeah. If that is all we can do, I we'll do more. But that. but two to three um, and expect them on Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. patience with us. We're trying to juggle everything, but we don't want to, we don't want to stop making YouTube videos. No. So. All right guys, we will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys. Bye guys.
If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, you can click the video on the right. And if you missed our previous video, you can click the video on the left. And if you still haven't subscribed, you can click the circular channel icon and, and it'll, it'll sub you right up. up.